this was a this was a request, and this is one of the oldest recorded um, King Arthur legends. Um, it is from a we think the uh, the manuscripts are from the 11th century from the Mabinogion, which is a book of Welsh stories. But it's quite old. I mean, these this book of stories where these were traditional stories, so they're quite you know dragged forward. So this is the tale of Cullach. Now Cullach is quite the hero. He's a, a young Welshman who uh, has the name of Pigpen. Not a very good hero's name, I will admit. But he uh, he has decided that he's going to to wed the uh, the giant king's beautiful daughter Olwen. Now this is a difficult thing because the giant king Espadadon has had a prophecy that says the day his daughter marries is the day he is killed, and so he locks her up as all evil you know, parents do. He locks her up, hiding in the tower, and uh, every time a suitor comes and says, I have come to marry your daughter, he says, oh, that sounds great. Can you just get me a couple of impossible things before you come back? And you know, that'll be a nice little wedding present, right? Now he sends them off into a certain doom, and they never come back, and Owen sits there in the tower going, daddy. Anyways, Paula <laughs> has one thing none of the other guys do. He is cousin to King Arthur himself, the finest king in all the land. And so with all of the resources of Camelot at his disposal, oh dear, we'll see what happens. Cullach, son of Kilath, the nobleman of Wales, was counseled by his mother to seek Olwen as a bride, fair Olwen, only daughter of the giant Espadadon, who would never let her marry, for when she went he'd die. Fum dum dilly um dee dum die, oh fum dum dilly um die. So Cullach went to Arthur, his kinsman and his cousin, to ask for aid in seeking fairest Olwen for his bride. And Arthur's knights, they joined him, Kay Benavir and Gawain, with Merlin the magician and Confilig as their guide. And so they traveled onward to the lands of Espadadon, and they came upon his castle, and they rode their steeds inside. Chief Giant shouted Cullach to the monster king before him, I have come for fairest Olwen, that your daughter be my bride. Her before you have my daughter, bring me Maven, son of Modron, who was taken from his mother, even as his lips first cried. Oh, I know that I can do so, though you think it be not easy, said good Cullach to the giant, and he called his knights to ride. Fum dum diddle yum dee dum die, fum dum diddle yum die. So they sought the ancient wisdom of the black bird of Kilgree. They asked him, no, he may have been stolen from his mother's side. The bird showed them an anvil that his beak had rendered small, but said, though I am ancient, there are older hearts than I. Hmm. So they found the stag of Rinfree who stood beside a stump. They asked him, no, he may have been stolen from his mother's side. This oak was once a sapling rooted first when I was young, but I'm not the oldest animal, the graceful stag re replied. So on the party traveled to the eagle of Guernabui, and they asked him, No, ye may have been stolen from his mother's side. The eagle showed a pebble that was once a mountain high, but he said, Despite this evidence, one goes more deep than I. So they traveled to the water, and the salmon of Lin Lu, and they asked him, No, ye may have been stolen from his mother's side. Indeed, I've heard his wailing in his prison all these years, and for Arthur's faith and honor, his companions I will guide. Fum dum diddle yum dee dum dang a fum dum diddle yum dang. And so the salmon led them up the river to a tower where they heard the lamentations of a prisoner inside. But the stonework of the castle couldn't stand before their army. Maven pledged his life to Arthur, and homeward all did ride. So Cullach and companions went with sweet speed to see the giant, with elation in their hearts, and lost Maven at their side. And they severed off the head of the oath-bound Espanadon. And that was how good Cullach won fair Olwen for his bride. And that was how good Cullach won fair Olwen for his bride. Oh, fum dum diddly um dee dum die, fum dum diddly um die. Bye. <laughs>